Hello again, everyone, and it is your Black Knight. And check this out. If you get the Karen Boer this week, you get a free shirt. So, or jacket or something or other. So, you get a free something. So, all we're going to do is really get one of these puppies. I'm going to get two of them, probably. Got one more spot in the agency. Then we can fix it up from here. I don't think... Oh, there you got your tea. I guarantee... It's guaranteed. To, I don't know. It's I don't know what we're doing here. Oh dearie my! Why are they calling it the boor? I mean, really, a boor is like you know an unsophisticated, distasteful kind of person. This is you know this is a Subaru Baja. It was you know. Quirky and kitschy, but it was capable and and funky. But I'm not a boar. I mean, you know, this thing I can see if you call it the boar. But I mean, you know, or one of these. These are boars. Yes, one of these I want on the wheel, and one I just wouldn't give up. And you can see there's still some work to do in here. But here we have it. I want to do some racing. I figure we'll build at least one of these up here. I guess we'll build both of them up. One on each side. But we'll... There'll probably be a gap in time here when we might be trying to do one on the other. So armor upgrade. Come on, let's pen that transaction. Race brakes. Front bumpers. Drilled bull bar, bull bar. Funky... Crazy, yeah. No, we're, we're going. We're going to definitely go. I think we're going to go off road and, if possible, rusty with this one. Primary heavy duty bull bar, rear bumpers, primary heavy duty blah blah. We're going beefy with a car that wasn't. I guess it was beefy in its own way. Dual stack, yeah. There we go. Got to. How do you not? How do you not? I mean, the side mounted could be could be could be interesting too, but you know, let's we're making this an off roader. That'll keep it out of the water. Okay, trail snorkel, ram snorkel, trail or ram. Kind of like the filter look on the top of it. Ram snorkel. That's the more performance or like it's a ram intake. Or this is just to try and keep the dust out of it. Let's do the just keep the dust out of it version. More realistic, really. You want to be sucking dust from a little bit higher up. Let's transactions. Well, let's just come on. Hood, hood vents. This, that, the other thing. Scoop to. That's very Subaru y. Definitely a Subaru. That I, I kind of like the Subaru Turbo Twin Turbo. Will this performance live up to the Twin Turbo Supercharged Ultra Intake? Maybe. These just don't fit. Like literally, I don't think the engine would fit in there. Hmm, that's a tough call. I mean, that looks really perfect to it. That looks funny. If we're going extreme. Still, if you've got the intakes out here, then how, what the heck is this doing? Okay, that's it. Scoop hood. Horn, we'll leave it go for right now. Neon kit, neon layout. Front, back sides. Throw it up. We're going to do some kind of basically orange theme thing here. Livery. Okay. Boor, boor. That looks good. Boor. That looks good. That, everybody's going to be using that one, I think. 
Shrewsbury. See, now this would work for my usual orange, but there's just not enough orange. So it's just straight up patriotized. And so, yeah, not enough going there. You can't get the good mix. Junkyard Boer. Long Lost Vintage. The Rusty Patriot. Now the Rusty Patriot. Oh, that almost works. And we go. It's like it's gonna be your long lost vintage or the rusty patriot. I think. Ooh, it's gonna be tough. I think we're doing that. I think we're doing a variation that I had not planned. Um, we're gonna have to do a little bit in the respray there, just to uh, primary color matte. I'll give you a matte orange. I'll take any shine off of the rust. Secondary color matte what? Is the secondary touch anything? I'm not seeing it. Let's just go matte black, I guess, just to make sure it's matte. Roof, open roof. Yeah, we'll pop the roof open. Suspension. Race suspension. It doesn't really change it all that much. It's an off-roader. But if it's wallowing around a little bit less. Like, if you're on an off-road race, that's, you know... That's what's gonna buy you. Is that it's gonna buy you handling in the turns even when it's light. Let's let's go lower. Hopefully we get to race it a little bit. But we're gonna try and do. We're trying to get it up chilly out at some point. But transmission. I could go up in chilly in this video, but I might not do that today. We'll see how it goes. Truck bed. <laughs> point roll cage, roll cage, the fuel cell, roll cage recovery kit. That's a bit excessive, I think, as a recovery kit. Tire mount looks good. Oh, now that, those look, that looks, see, now that looks a little bit weird with it poking through the, the thing. But this, the painted bed cover with all that, now you, you got it, that's just, we must. This was done up. This is a car that was done up a long time ago and then neglected. Wheel type off roads, obviously chrome off roads. Probably Amazon. Yeah, let's give it Amazons. Some chrome Amazons. Tires, bulletproof, of course. Our smoke orange until we can get Patriot. Windows light smoke, as always. Got all that. All right, we're good here. Let's see, how does it feel? Feels pretty good. You've given up the roll cage for the, the cool back, but. Woo! Okay, so it does, it does uh, tend to go fishtail. Yeah, the roll cage probably fit the build, build a little bit more, but I just I just couldn't give up to all the, the huge logo kind of thing on the back. Can I have a good drift car? <laughs> Let's see, can we make the jump? I'm a boor! This is the boor build. Would have been better with a roll cage, probably for what I'm gonna use it for. Way! Woo! 
It completed it, yay! There goes the hood. Let's see, let's take a look at the hood's done. That looks pretty cool in there. I like it. I think we will park this up in the, the maze bank. We're gonna move that. I think. I think we're gonna do the time warp again after we park this. Whee! Is it one? If one has room, we'll take it into one. Give me my hood back like magic. It's like you found an old show car and you just got it running again. That looks tight. It really does. I guess you can theoretically there's a you can imagine that it's, it's reinforced in there. Oh it's not. If you roll it over, you're gonna die. But I don't know, were they tough? Maybe they were tough enough. So let's do the time warp again. Well, I'm glad I checked. I see if I was recording before we did the chili. I, I did not record the build on this. We're on the other character now. And what was this? Is this off road? I think so. Customs are on. Time of day, noon. But I did another build, and you're just gonna have to. You know, we'll we'll see if you can figure out what it is. Or where I was going with it. It's not it's it's more homage than decoupage, I guess. I don't know. We're just gonna say There we are. The custom boar. We went with kind of a trailbreaker look to it. As much as you're gonna get interesting uh, side note here is that the bumpers are listed as primary and they come up chrome. So that's interesting. I'm glad it went that way because I did want chrome. It's gonna be a little bit late on this as I'm putting on my headphones here, just so I can see. They're gonna release the uh, the license plate maker in like a week or so, so we're gonna. I always put it right there where you're not supposed to. All right, we've got a snorkel. Snorkel test. All right, well this. That's too much water. <laughs> Failed snorkel test because snorkel was underwater. Did we die quickly enough that we don't get the train? That's better. That's almost better. Come on, you can do this. Pull yourself out of it. Okay, that's a true snorkel test. That the snorkel does nothing. And now there's the train. Nothing says that I'm, I'm going to make it across this time anyway. All right, we did. We only make it across when the train is there. All right. What stopped it? Was that a bush? Okay, this thing does not like bushes. Is the train way ahead of us or right behind us? Whoa, we got ahead of the train. And then we stunted it. Come on. Stay ahead of the train. Don't get hit by the train. I have to say, I don't normally do black cards, but this looks nice. I'm digging it. It's clean. We got the, the T-tops open. Being that the snorkel doesn't work, I might take the snorkel off, if I'm honest. The snorkel is not, and you know, the snorkels are not really meant in real life to, uh, to help you breathe underwater. They're actually to help keep the dust out of the engine. So I guess it's not a complete waste. May have mentioned that earlier in the video. We're doing this in multiple attempts here. Almost too much momentum on that. This kind of spun itself out. All right. And there's a tree there. Did you know there's a tree there? 
You can see the four wheel drive in action. It pulls away on the hill very nicely, so this shouldn't be an issue. It seems like it's got more than enough traction, more than enough power. Very, very heavily affected by bushes. That might be a matter of maybe it's not very heavy, which is okay. Especially if it can haul chili ad like this, you know? Does this mean it will be competitive in the off-roads class? We're going to have to wait till Bruffy gets home. He's, he's away. No Bruffy this week. So, well, there's Bruffy this week. It's just that he's got videos that were preloaded. Not this one. Not the, the performance test. I can tell you, it feels pretty quick. I don't know what it would do against the likes of, like, the Draugr. I mean, that's pretty... Pretty beefy and quick. If I ever do get to do the, the next off-road race I'm doing, I, I have two of these, I have one on each character, so I'm gonna definitely gonna take one of them. It feels very nimble, very, uh, very good off-road. Someone was saying, I forget which YouTuber was saying, it wasn't very good off-road. I don't know where he got that idea from. Was this puppy one? It's a, it's a fountain gun. Brakes are a little suspect from <laughs> squeaking. I'm not gassing it, we're just rolling. Okay, let's lean it a little bit this way. Ooh, we need a little bit more. Oh, we're spinning. Oh, we've lost it. We've lost it. Tree! Nope, we missed the trees. Ow. I right, put those big bull bars on. Over the rock and through the woods to Grandmother's house we go. Hard to get control of it there, but here we go. That was not bad. No, oh, this is a nice little car drive. I like it. It's a little beat up, but not as beat up as you would think. It should be. Not much to say here, it's just nice. Zipping along. Doesn't like bushes. Half tempted to clean it up a bit by taking off the snorkel. But we'll see how that goes down the line. If you, next time you see it doesn't have a snorkel, you know, hey, you decided to take off the snorkel. With a really clean build. Pull on up here like nobody's business. It's really good. Not right now. You can see I'm trying to practice for a G for it. 
in a car that will never see a Jeep rig? Or probably, no, I don't want to say never, but... It doesn't like bushes, so this might be problematic. Oh yeah, the bushes just kill it. The bush. I hit that one, it kind of went out of control on me. Now I'm stuck in the trees. Stuck up in the trees. He doesn't like objects. <laughs> that was good. But it's a nice little truck, you know? A nice little crossover kind of thing. I guess. At least it's more a pickup truck than... But it's just a small kind of thing, so... So there you have it. It does do pretty well. It's very nice off-road. Yeah, it looks nice. I like this build. I'm liking it. And on that note, ladies and gentlemen, I say get one if you can. I don't think this is a FOMO. I don't think this is a limited time only. I could be wrong. I'm going to try and look that up. Let's go free mode while I look that up. Now paranoia sets in. Did they change something? Let's see. Rockstar News Wire, blah, blah, blah. News Wire from the Rockstar Games. Blah, blah, load. Okay, now that's with GTA Plus. Adventure of Road, the new Karen Boer. There, it looks like the only FOMO involved here is that if you get it between now and April 26, you get the t-shirt. But it looks like the car might stay. I don't trust them, but still. Yeah, I like it. It's an inexpensive, relatively speaking, little thing. That likes off-road, except for the bushes. I know I'm not like trying to go finish the. Uh, I'm going the wrong way. I'm just wildly off roading. Because that's just what this thing seems to be made to do. Did we lose a fender in that? Yeah, we lost a fender. It tends to lose fenders, I guess. Hey, Bob! I'm here for a swim! You got my suit? I was hot. <laughs>